Cost and Mansell were on the front row, with Lauda and Rosberg on row two. You had to go all the way back to the seventh row to find Ayrton Senna. So Austin was my worst position on the grid, four things on the grid, big accident at the start, several cars stole, Ferrari had a crash on the back of Helio, Fabi stole as well, and then Berger finally hit that on the, from the back. I managed to escape from the accident, but um, the organizers stopped the race on the, on the end, at the end of the first lap uh, with no really reason, because the track was clear, mainly was clear, and they could have had continued the race and cleared it properly in another, in another lap. But anyway, the track, the race was stopped, as you can see that with the red flags, and uh, red flag and yellow flags, and um, we had the second start uh, with the Angelis switched to the spare car as well, like Ferrari and Arrows. And we had the second start. I think Austria is a difficult place to start. Always we have some difficult ones. Keck had a very good start there, goes goes to second place. And I was behind me, right in the middle of the field there. Then we see Keck putting a lot of pressure early in the race on Prost. But the McLarens were so strong in that meeting. They were just impossible to be, to, to be caught. It was a very hard race for the equipment, so many cars drop through the, through the event, and the main thing was to keep going healthy, strong, but not overdoing, otherwise the car, the engine or anything would give up. So I stay in my place for several laps, waiting to the the other situation settled down, there we see Rosberg slowing down for an engine problem, so Lada, who was third, uh, got up to second place behind Prost. The McLarens were just going away completely from the, from the rest. There was a good fight between Piquet, Elio and Manso, and then Fabi, Warwick and myself. Then we see now the Chesley is having a small accident, just a slight damage for the car, but he was luckily safe and hurt after such a huge accident. And one of the reasons for the so many rows that he had was that the day before, the night before, was raining heavily and outside the asphalt over the grass the track was all very soft with a lot of water so as soon he left the track, the asphalt, the car just started to clip and uh, he had four or five rows and uh, it was a huge accident. He was lucky to escape unhurt. For a TV view, no doubt was a excitement view. Not so much for the driver, for sure. So straight after we had um, Prost coming for tires. It was a very good pit stop. Quick tire change, the team did a good job there. And Prost was strong all the way through, right from the green light to the checkered flag. But then several cars start to drop. And the main thing was to keep clear from accidents and keep strong the car. Mansell then stopped for engine problem, then PK suddenly after uh, with a, I think exhaust problem. And I was then third on, on, on the race. But then Lauda had a smoke for, the, for his engine and stopped with engine trouble as well. So automatically I found myself in second place. And. Um, by that time, Prost was uncatchable, so nothing to do about, but the Ferrari was putting the pressure on myself from behind. Aboretto was coming very strong, so I had to push a bit to keep the pace and uh, make sure I would have still my second place by the end of the race. But it was very good to finish after the, a lot of races with no finishes. Huh? There, in the fourth gear corner, 
Art Hill Tambay had the engine blow and spun on his own oil, but no accidents. And as I was saying, it was good to finish another Grand Prix after Portugal. Uh, I, I didn't finish any other Grand Prix, so that was my second finish in the year and in the roster again. Crossed first and I just managed to come second with the Ferrari coming very strong from behind, but um, with a word to still third. And then, obviously, we had to enjoy it on the rostrum, making the best of it with the champagne. A nice trophy for Prost there, and uh, with a lot of Italians there, still cheering up the Ferrari, Prost is still warmer. Huh? Now we'll see some fun with the champagne, especially with the cameraman, in a few seconds. Just giving him some taste as well. Nice thing.